They said peeling skin. Yeah. What them peel from the yam, the sweet potato. Cool. cool. All of them waste nice, things there. Nice, nice. Them can throw them down one place, make mm. them turn mulch, yeah. said fertilizer. Yeah. You understand? And then just put it on. And it. put it around it. Nine to twelve hours per <laughs> day. Uh -huh. Five days a week. Five days a week, seven days a week, said we are fit in it right through. My Jamais family, how you do? Awesome, awesome. I'm back at a farm. A beautiful cabbage farm. And guess what? It's not, it's not an ordinary farm. It's a farm of the champion farmer for the parish. I'm going to have a talk with him. We're going to learn about what he does and how he does it. What makes a champion farmer? You know, I don't come, you know, I'm not going to share cabbage with you or any fruit, any herb or anything without talking about the medicinal components of it as well. So I'm going to share that with you. Stay to the end though because we're going to find out from him how to grow cabbage at home in the backyard you don't want to miss that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel i'm going to invite you now to pause and hit that subscribe button right now i do a lot of these kind of videos and i don't want you to miss any of them so do it now and that way you don't miss any of my future videos let's go to the farm all right guys so this is it this is beautiful stuff look at this look at this all right, and guess what? I'm gonna head down because I need to have a little talk with the man. Let's see if I can, can manage the trick here. All right, let's go. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> wow, look at this. This is a beauty, man. Woo. Cabbage. Abundant, guys. And look at them. Look pretty fit too. Mmm. All right, and guess what? I just observed something. We're getting to him, I'm getting to him. But there's, apparently there's a boat, they're running a boat here today. This look like his wife, wife or daughter? Wife? Wife? All right, nice, nice. Wife, you're running the boat. Why well, we just turn up the thing a while ago, right now, right now, we just get sweeter. We haven't even, haven't even meet the man yet officially, but you know, we can't pass this kind of stuff here now. This is it. This is it. Both are run because people are work. What do you have in the pot there? Rice and peas. Rice and peas, a bubble. Brown seal chicken. That is what makes the man a champion farmer. Because guess what? He's having work at work. And he's having wife a cook. Hello. Mm. All right. All right. This is the cabbage. So let's meet the man. Let's meet the man now. And actually, before you go, before we uh, jump across to him, I want to hear what you think about this thing here so far. Let me t talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, man. Come on, we're going to make it engaging. Talk to me in the comments right now. Well, 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 guys. This is a man, um, Devon Stone, right? Right. Congrats. Uh, big, up, big him up for me, guys. He's a champion farmer for where? For St. James? St. James. Champion cabbage farmer? For St. James. National farmer and ah. um, for ginger. National, national, national. All right, guys, you're looking at a national now. <laughs> farmer for ginger, said we. Ah, and and champion for 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 Saint James. Saint James for cabbage. All right, guys, and today we're looking at this beautiful cabbage farm the man has here. Look at that, astounding stuff. Well done, congratulations again, man. In order for you and all of my peeps, them online, a big up right now. Big him up for me, give him a thumbs up. Well done. What does it take, first of all? What does it take to be a champion farmer? A lot of people farm. But in your mind, my brother, what do you think it really takes to be a um, champion farmer? You really, fit to be a champion farmer, you have to dedicate yourself mm -hmm. to the farming in it. Mm -hmm. um, nine to 12 hours per uh, day. Uh -huh. Five days a week. Five days a week, seven days a week, said we are fit in it right through. I, I was, I was, I was going to give her a little trouble because we're talking to your spouse and decide afterwards. And she said, she said to us that, listen, man, this man work round the clock. She said, work, he come back at night and by five o'clock come on in him out. And the man, when he's sick, he's there, he's there, he's there the farm, he prefer go down and go sit down. It's true. Right, it's true. So there's a dedication and the... Dedication, and the, the work, what I have to be in. Yeah, yeah. All right. And you have people who work with you? I have people who work with me, like 12 to 14 people who work with me. Yeah. Um, like five days a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to big them up now too. I yeah, want to big, big up, up my up. workers them. Yeah, big up all of them and your, your wife is the same way they're here. 
Yeah, uh, she is, she was the one running the boat, guys. <laughs> she run the boat. Tash, Tash is her name, right? Tash? Uh, Taskia. Taskia. Big up Taskia. Mm -hmm. All right, man. I want to show us quickly. We want to learn from you. We want to learn a few things from you. My audience is excited to hear. How do you... How, how, well, what's the first step in planting cabbage? Uh, the first step for planting cabbage in St. James. Maybe um, St. Elizabeth, Clarendon, all of those places. Maybe do it different. Yeah. Um, oh, good point. We normally... Um, Clear the land uh -huh. and prepare the holes. Mm -hmm. Right? We dig the holes with the fork uh -huh. and prepare the holes. Mm -hmm. And we normally make a, a trench like, like this. Every, right, the trench. Here is the trench. Uh -huh. So we normally make a trench like every 10 holes. Mm -hmm. We make a trench with if you carry the water. That means you know, mess up the cabbage. Oh, oh when, so when the rain falls, it runs off. Right, it runs okay. off. That uh -huh. means so we know have a problem because we are dealing with clear soil. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Right. Uh -huh. So, and we we have to do it that way there, mm -hmm. right? And next, next, we normally transfer from the chair mm -hmm. to the ground. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Oh, right. now we set this chair. You set, we set the chair at 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 the nursery, uh -huh. the from the nursery. Uh huh. Um, carry come to the ground. Okay, and, and it looks to me like you have them about what about six inches apart or something like that. Yeah, um, eight inches. Eight inches, roughly. Eight inches to a foot. Uh -huh. and not even eight inches to a foot. Maybe more than that. Some of them more than that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then how long? How long it? How long it? Um. How, how long, long it take? takes to grow? Yeah. Um, it takes normally ten to twelve weeks. Mm -hmm. To to reach the reaping stage. From 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 from, from the nursery after uh -huh. you plant out from the nursery. Uh huh. Normally it takes. 10 to 12 weeks. That's not bad. That's reach. like two and a half months. Yeah, two and a half months. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, if you only need good um, watering system, uh -huh. 10 weeks. Oh, cool, cool, cool. And in terms of care, and you have to go back and do other stuff to it during. Yeah, you have to, you have to, you have to weed. Weed it we out. normally weed like two, two times uh -huh. because we sell um, normally grow the grass fast, the mm -hmm. weed fast. Mm -hmm. So we have to do. Um, Fertile soil. <laughs> right. So. Uh -huh. You fertilize the soil so it and the rain worse like how the rain is on now. Yeah. It, it the grass grow fast, so we have to weed. These look like them ready, man, almost. Yeah, some are some of some of them ready. Ah, good. Some good. of them ready. Which means which take us now, guys, to harvest time. No. So you said eight weeks, um No, ten, 10 to week, twelve weeks. Ten to twelve weeks for harvesting. So these would have been here for about ten to twelve weeks. Right. So it's ready for harvesting now. Right. And how do you do it? I want you to share. I'm, we don't take it for granted, you know, because people, some people, actually, some people are seeing cabbage in the field for the first time right now. So we're not going to take it for granted. We're going to show them as well that not only that this is cabbage in the field, guys, notice how it's round, but also it's um, how, how to cut one. So you're going to show us how you do your little harvesting. Normally, I do a thing like this. Uh huh. Ah. I'm take it off uh -huh. and use the knife. Normally, I have a machete now. Yeah. And we cut it off. Cool. Right? That's a huge one, man. Right. Uh huh. That's about five pounds? Yeah, this is around five pounds. Good, good, good. And you throw that? You throw that? Yeah, we put that on. Can you use it to mulch probably later on? Right. You don't really, okay. Right. And this, so uh, this is the way uh -huh. normally I am. And how you how you take care of it? Uh huh. How you, you take that for me? How you take, sorry, how you take care of it? I mean, um, after you do that, you do any special way to? No, we just um take up. From, from after the reaping, after we cut, cut it like this, we mm. normally pack it in the crate mm -hmm. and, and take it out of the field. Oh, cool. So this now is one of probably about how many, how many right now you have, how many, you said, did you tell me earlier about, about an acre? Of yeah, around an acre, around 22,000, 20 to 25,000 rolls. Right now? Right now. So magnificent stuff, man. We want to big you up, man. You, your face look young, you know, so we are big you up as a young man in the farming thing. <laughs> We want to big up guys, a young man in the farming man, and well, actually, I need, I need to ask you, who, who, I mean, where did they get the inspiration from? Who, did they had the parents who um, were farmers? I think most likely I get the inspiration from uh, my brother mm. and my brother friend. Yeah. Your, your parents weren't farmers? Mm. Um, not of what me know of. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Um, but they're not around? So, yeah, them around, but not real. Farmer. Not not them. My brother uh -huh. and my brother friend. Me mostly get the yeah experience. Big up my brother. Yeah. Um, silver. Yeah. And cowboy. I want to give me the experience. We start every, with this every time. Are you doing very? How long? Are you in the, how long are you in the um, farming now in general? 
uh, in the farming around 18 years now. Oh, for your baby, man? Yeah, from around 20 something. <laughs> what are you saying? Mm -hmm. All right, good. So I understand that later on you're going to do some harvesting here. We won't take up a lot of your time. We, hopefully we catch a little bit of it because your, your workers will come around and do some harvesting. You know? No, we're not bothering to do the harvest. Oh, you do we're it. going to do it in the morning. In the morning, all right. Yeah. All right. So all of this stuff. Gone. All of this stuff in a short while will will gone. We'll be, we'll be gone, eh? Right, all of the ready ones. These, these look like they're ready, right? Mm-hmm. Most okay. of them. All right. So you know, I don't know if you know, but um, you know, cabbage as obviously a, a whole food is has its own set of nutritional benefits, right? I don't right. know if you have explored that. You're never really going to that. No. It was farm. All right. So I'm going to share, guys, with you and Mr. Stone. Stone. We're going to share somebody here. You know, we don't come to the, these places and just go without telling you exactly what some of the health benefits are. So, number one, vitamin C. You know, people talk about vitamin C from oranges, but right. cabbage also has vitamin C. In fact, cabbage... The strongest nutritional component in cabbage, we understand, is actually vitamin C. Maybe not as much as orange, orange. but it has vitamin C, uh, it's a, which is essential for boosting the immune system, promoting healthy skin, and aiding in wound healing. It is also acts as, as an antioxidant, help protecting our cells from damage caused by free radicals. Vitamin K, Mr. Stone, the cabbage also have. Uh, where's the one that you cut? Here's them. This one? Okay. All right, good, good, good. You know, I'm going to ask you if you can bust that one in two. Oh, well, actually, that's a question I have for you. you have can you eat the cabbage like that off the farm or you have to do something special to it? No, you can eat it. You can eat Just it. Just like right. that? Yeah. Oh, Get yeah. the knife. Get you can bust it and cut it and uh, wash. You need, to, you need to do any special washing on it. You don't have to do nothing to it right now. <laughs> yeah, because you would have. Because the rain, they on it. Every um, day. Every day. All right. We're going to bust, it, bust this one, guys, while we're talking. Because it also has vitamin K, um, which plays a critical role in blood clotting and bone health. Uh, adequate vitamin K also helps reduce the risk of fractures and improve bone density. Fiber. Fiber. Like all whole food, cabbage contains dietary fiber, which is important for digestive health, regulate bowel movement, prevent constipation, I mean, lower the risk of digestive disorders like diverticular diverticulitis and colon cancer as well. The man I cut it folate. The women will love this, which is vitamin B9. This is beautiful. Man, we need to we need to the, so folate is necessary for DNA synthesis and cell division, making it essential for growth and development. Uh, the, 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 the pregnant women also know that it plays a role in preventing neural tube defects as well. Man, man, I eat it. We want, we want, we want, we want to take some, man. Potassium, it has potassium, which, uh, and, which is an electrolyte that helps regulate fluid balance, muscle contraction, and nerve signal. All of that good stuff. Antioxidants as well. Various antioxidants, including flavonoids, polyphenols, and sulfur compounds, like goo, glucosinolates. All of them help to protect the cell from oxidative stress and information. You're doing good stuff here, man. Uh, sulfur saying, um, uh, um, a lot of other stuff. And of course, water. <laughs> Cabbage has a high water content, which keeps, keeps the body hydrated and support overall well-being. So you want to do something good, man. You're doing good. Is that just cabbage you farm, though? You farm other stuff? A lot of things. Yeah. So what are, Pineapple. What, uh -huh. I roughly do around 25 acres of pineapple. Right now? Mm -hmm. What do you say? So this is baby to what you do, you know? Right. Because mm. that's a lot of stuff here. Okay, all right. Uh -huh. Do scotch bonnet. Uh -huh. Do a lot of lettuce, uh -huh. pop chai. Uh -huh. A lot of farming, man. Oh. So well, this you... is one of the farm. One of the the, the four farm. Ginger. Say somebody, you, 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 somebody, hello, you know what you say, ginger. Yeah, this is this is pure ginger planting here. Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. One of the ginger farm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Fantastic one. All right. There's a right here we're looking at now is ginger. We'll be standing up. Mm -hmm. All right. I have some quick questions for you that some people are asking. We're asking online and you can, based on, as best as you, as you know, answer them. Which month is best for cabbage? Um, The best month for cabbage, I think, is um November. November. Plant in November. Right. So read by December, Jan by January. Right. February. I think the best month. When time the winter season is coming on, uh -huh. that's the best month. The cabbage grow large on everything uh -huh. in oh. the winter. All right. When 
well, this is another question. When to plant cabbage in Jamaica? So it's the same thing, okay? Right. When or uh, when to top dress cabbage? Now I don't know what top dress is. You know what that? What do no, you mean by I that? No, I don't. I don't understand. All right, all right. What what makes cabbage grow big? That's another so another kind of mature question. Speaking of big, them as what what make cabbage grow big? I think <laughs> you know um how you take care of it uh -huh. and the type of soil where it on. Uh huh. As long as you make the soil um loosey. Mm -hmm. That's the roots them spread. Mm -hmm. Right. That's the that's the that's the time when time as long as you have mice at the root, mm -hmm. it don't they too close them one another. Yes. Right. That's they it. get big. They get big. Notice the one I'm just pull up here, it there on the, the change bank. Uh-huh. The furrow bank. Yeah. It grow large. You notice them one here. Come here. I'll show you something. Mm. Notice them one here, them one here plant wide. Mm. Oh, cool. Them one here plant wide. And this big one. Right, them one here plant wide. So you look one roughly like seven pounds. Whoa. Six pounds. Uh huh. Right. Me grow cabbage up to um twelve pounds. What? Mm -hmm. And of course in the hills here, way up in Chuka where there's no interference, so it have all the natural all, all the natural elements to, to make it make right. it grow big too, you know? Right. Yeah, because the, the earth obviously. And this look like is this is organic stuff. You don't. I mean, this this is woodland. Uh, your, your wife, it yeah, does woodland. Just I cut down cut this down. place here and cut it down. Cut it down to nothing and plant and do your farming. Right. Lovely, 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 lovely. How do you encourage cabbage to head? I don't know if you know that term. Head, encourage it to head. Which I guess this is head. Yeah, right. this uh, is head. Uh huh. Um, I don't. I don't really. Um, I don't. I mean, I mean, I, I don't I don't know no, nothing you to them to special. make them nothing special <laughs> right. to them to make them head. Alright. Just the right dirt, right, right, right temperature, right, right time and right water. Really. Right water. Yeah. Alright. I had to ask you a question earlier. Um and it's actually a pre myself because it says, Can you eat cabbage leaves off the plant? Right. You can you can as eat long it. As, yeah, as long as it as long as the spraying time is up. You can okay. you can eat it. Fantastic. Alright. Well the bonus and we 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 I think the rain is threatening us, but we're gonna we're gonna ask you to show us quickly, my brother. Uh the bonus guys. The bonus is gonna show us quickly how to plant cabbage at home. A lot of people are interested in that. So you're gonna show us how the best way to plant cabbage at home, you know. Uh-huh. If you have the soil, uh -huh. if you do not have the soil, uh -huh. let's say in a pot. Um I I'd prefer say you get like few tires. Uh-huh. Um the pot thing. Okay. I prefer you get few tires or your, your bill, a box like uh -huh. with, with, with a lot or something, fill it with dirt, uh -huh. right? And plant the stuff. Because remember, you know, cabbage, you can't, the, 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 the mall, mm -hmm. kind of people have mall at them back mm -hmm. yard. Oh, okay, got gotcha. you. Right? Cabbage don't do well with that. No, cabbage don't do well with that. You have one something where you can cause stress. Mm -hmm. We bring in the cabbage. We spot when that anywhere you go and 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 I get them um, good nutrients mm. like you know and get proper um. I'm gonna say now. If you send out the roots. Yeah, okay, okay. You, need, you understand? Yeah, yeah, and you need, good on our meat, on our hard soil yeah, or yeah. hard anything at yeah. all. You red out. Ah. Right. Yeah, got bring you. stress. Yeah. In time, cabbage full. Mm -hmm. It have some black some something inside of it. Okay. Right. So it best way to grow cabbage. Back door, uh -huh. um, garden is the the, the tire, uh -huh. full tire with topsoil, uh -huh. and are use the, the 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 hoods and black up and fully up a soil. Uh -huh. That is the best way to plant it. But if you have the soil, yeah, right, you can just plow up the land uh -huh. and plant them um eighteen to one foot apart. Uh -huh. Right. What do you plant? Oh, you, you have, you, you, it's not the seed. You, you, you have, no, you have to sow it. You have to sow it in our nursery. First. Like, like I want make one little nursery, like it said, tire business. Uh -huh. And drop the seed them, water them, uh -huh. make them come up. Give them 20-20 uh -huh. fertilizer. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. Them rise. When time they reach four weeks, you mm. chance plant them out in the, the, the part of the place we spot you want them to grow and turn crab, cabbage. Got you, got you, right. got you. That's it. Yeah, man, that's it. Um, that is the best way to grow. Yeah. The the, the back door. Um, and you leave it yeah. for you say, two, ten weeks, ten to ten, twelve weeks. Right, ten to twelve weeks. Keep, give it water. 
give it water, mm. give it, you have to give it fertilizer. If you don't have fertilizer for it, you have to give it mulch. You have mulch. To give. But most of the back door garden people I'm like what live in town, mm. they said peeling skin. Yeah. What them peel from the yam, the sweet potato. Cool. cool. All of them waste nice, things there. Nice, nice. Them can throw them down one place, make mm. them turn mulch, yeah. said fertilizer. Yeah. You understand? And then just put it on and it. put it around it. That's, you understand? Yes, yes, yes. Well, I want to big you up again, man. I want to thank you. Uh, thank you for all you do, what you're doing, and what is to come. Champion farmer for the parish of St. James and national for ginger. Ginger farmer. I will not even reach this yet, but big up yourself, man. All the best. All right. So the rainy sun, guys. It's beautiful here. The rainy sun. And it's sunshine is out as well. We have a name for that, you know. Back in the country, we have a name for that. I will say again, the devil and the wife are fight. When the rain falling and the sun shining, it's beautiful here, man. Look at that. It just, it just showed the cabbage, the cabbage even more. I have a question for you, though. I want you to tell me, how do you, and I want you to use the comments right now. How do you use cabbage? What's your favorite way? What's your favorite dish or favorite cabbage dish? Yes. What's your favorite cabbage dish? How do you have your cabbage? I want to hear from you. Drop it. Drop it in the comments now. Right? I'm I'm eating this one. I'm challenging myself to eat all of it today. <laughs> all right. Tell me, tell me in the comments how you have your cabbage. If said people want to reach you though, quickly. Um if, you want, if people want to reach you, whether they want to want to a tour, whether they want to buy it. You can call me on 455-1351. 876. Right. 876. Alright. Big up Mr. Stone guys and he's amazing. Oh, he's on Facebook. Yeah, Dev Devon Stone, Stone Dev Fresh Produce. The Stone Fresh Produce. If you want to buy it, guys, or you want to learn more, you want to get some skills from this man here, he's a national champion. Don't take him lightly. All right. Big up, sir, Stone. All right. Good, good, good. The Cabbage Farm Tour with Mr. Stone, guys. Wow. Come on. You need, to, you need to stop now and share this video. This is lovely stuff. We need others to see, man. Come, stop, pause, and hit that share button. There's another video you need to see. And that's the one with the Pineapple Farm with Anthony and his mom. There's a link in the description, and it's in the card above. See you in that one.